Hello reformers and welcome back to Gecko Kujo 3.1. Now when we left off, we had just taken one of the last, well, one of four, I suppose. I think I think they have four left from the Mogami clan. And we were successful in that, obviously. And I have now traveled back to Katsuyama Castle. I have given myself all of the fiefs that we have taken just so that we can earn that stockpile that we so desperately need. And it turns out that I actually have about 45,000 in the treasury. And I had no idea that that was the case. But this is going to help us even more. 7,800 is just insane. We're going to be accepting that. But the problem with it is that we now have to deal with Ichinoseki Castle. So let's see how long this is going to take. Wait a minute. Oh... Uh... Only, oh no, that's not very good, is it? Uh, I was very much hoping that we'd be able to have a little bit of a shorter construction time, but apparently I don't have the required ninjas to be able to do something like that, so that's a bit of a shame, but, ah, oh, well, never mind. Okay, so let's have a look here. Oh, oh yeah, Tajiko does not have a, mm, yes, does not have a very high opinion of Gonosuke, so that's, that's a bit of unfortunate situationness, isn't it? Yes. Fantastic sentence right there as well, isn't it? <laughs> oh well. Doesn't really matter because this doesn't actually have... Oh, there's Great Lord Mogami attempting to take Yokote Castle. I don't actually mind about that so much because if we take this then that will mean that the Nanbu clan hopefully will be eliminated and maybe some of the vassals will join us. I highly doubt it because they all hate us but, well, let's see. Maybe, maybe it will happen, maybe it won't, who knows. But what I do know is that Tajiko is going to become a very, very good, oh my, oh we got a bridge, that's not too good, but yeah. Tajiko is going to become a very, very good and you know, worthwhile companion and hopefully we're going to be able to get some pretty decent gear for her as well. I really do not like these particular layouts. I mean, I in general I absolutely love the layouts in Gekakuja, but this one in particular is very, very tricky because, well, the archers have such an easy time of things. I mean, as you can see here, they're just easily able to shoot down upon us. And I'm, I'm actually a bit sad that we can't shoot at them because obviously my positioning right now is utterly atrocious. But yeah, maybe I can just kill some of these guys before they even reach us. Yeah, it seems like we're actually, oh, no, we're, we, are, we were doing well. We were doing well, but not anymore. Thank you very much, yes. Okay, so we do have some banner carriers. Hopefully they're going to be able to deal so much damage here that we really don't have to worry about anything. But obviously that really just depends. I actually wonder, what if I make an army entirely out of banner carriers? What is that going to do? Is that actually going to be effective? Because I know it's going to be very effective against cavalry and things like that. But what about sieges and things. I mean, it seems like they're very, very effective in sieges, but that could just be me. I don't know. I literally could just be, you know, imagining things or, or whatever, but uh, yeah, that, that would be amazing, actually, if we could do something like that. Maybe I can try and snipe that guy. There we go. Lovely. And maybe we can get the other guy as well. It seems like... What? What? I'm... What? I, was it? What the? What was that? It was like I was getting pushed or something. That was very weird. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter because we're we're still on point. We can still fire at that guy and kill him. There we go. I just want to save some of my arrows. Obviously, saving arrows and then dying, that's obviously not a very good plan. But, well, we're doing our best. And Bruce is doing his best. The last gate has already been destroyed. Wow, they're not putting up much of a fight, are they? Well, they probably will now. Yeah, as soon as I say that. You know that there's going to be trouble. There's another headshot there as well. Very nice. Good good work, Bruce. Good work. All right. Is there anything else I can do right here? Well, obviously I can. Uh, yeah, I, I'd like to shoot through our units. Can I do that? Yes, it seems like I can somewhat. It's not really working too well because I can't actually see anyone. You know, any of the enemies because of all of our icons and things like that. So... Ah, uh, oh well, never mind. We're just going to do this the old-fashioned way, I suppose. I'm going to go up the tower here, because I really do not like them, you know, raining down arrows and musket balls and all kinds of things upon us. I think that's not very nice. Maybe we'll be able to gain some arrows here as well. 
if we're lucky. Maybe we'll be able to gain some extra ammunition. Can I get some extra ammunition? There we go. A little bit there. A little bit there. And is there actually any quivers on the floor? Mm, there is, but I can't get it. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Sometimes they are equipable and sometimes they're not. So I'm, I'm going to hope that that... Yeah, there we go. I think I have a full, full quiver now. That's really quite nice. Maybe I can actually deal some damage here. Or maybe not, because obviously I'm absolutely terrible when aiming at people that actually move. Yeah, fantastic, isn't it? Oh, there we go. There's, there's another kill there. And I seem to be... I am, like, undercompensating, I think. I'm either undercompensating or overcompensating. What do you think about... Oh. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm actually getting some kills just by firing off randomly over there. So that's pretty nice. But, yeah, I think I probably need to go over there soon, because... At the moment, it doesn't seem like uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like my arrows are really supporting our units enough for me to actually call myself a commander. So I think it would be, you know, making a little bit of sense just to head over there. I mean, how many have we eliminated so far? We've eliminated 122. They must have really low-level units in here, because, well, I, I don't know why. Because they have a number of vassals, and I would have assumed that those vassals would maybe have some, you know, decently high level units, but apparently not. Apparently not. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's very, very weird. Okay. Well, what can you do, I suppose? We're just going to try our best. Oh, oh my. Yes. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I actually thought that we were going to have it easy, but no. No, we're not having it easy. Not at all, in actual fact. Yeah. So this was one of those times when I think I probably should have just stayed back a little bit and done a little bit of archery and shooting people from afar because this is what happens if I, you know, go in. Uh, it's kind of hilarious as well because you wouldn't think that a regular Nanbu retainer would deal so much damage, but yeah, they do. They do deal so much damage. Even if they're just, you know, low tier samurai units, even, even the lowest tier of samurai units as far as I'm aware actually does pretty decent damage. So yeah, I really need to sort of watch out for that. But as it stands right now, I'm actually unsure what I should do. If we just raise the camera up here. I mean, these guys are all going to... I don't know. Should I just allow my units to continue fighting away here? Or should I retreat and come back in? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, we have eliminated a majority of the enemy so far. I have no idea how many they have in the garrison total. I mean, I could have obviously added it up, but... It didn't seem like that much. Maybe 300 or so. I think we've probably eliminated 200 already. So, in theory, we should be very close to a victory here. I don't really want to retreat because if we're able to succeed, then the renown is going to be really, really... Wait a minute. Do we even get renown from this? I, I, I... See, that's the thing. I always get mixed up between siege defenses and siege offenses. I don't think we actually get renowned for siege offenses, but oh uh, well, doesn't really matter anyway, because we have a pretty decent army size, and if we have any bigger army size, then we're going to pay way too much weekly wage. So I suppose it doesn't matter either way, but yeah, maybe if we can get some of these units over there, come on, come on guys, ah, they're taking a long time, aren't they? That is absolutely terrible, but yeah, it seems like we might... I don't know, we might have this in the bag, because hilariously enough, all of the archers are not firing. There's only one gunner actually firing, and he actually just stopped now. And the reason why, the reason why, is because they have too many infantry units, and they don't have a clear line of sight. Which is absolutely hilarious to me, because that's usually what happens to me. You know, I usually, you know, place my infantry somewhere random, and it usually doesn't work very well, you know, and the archers... Obviously, don't fire most of the time, but as you can see, they're all, they're all kind of being detrimental to each other, and it's hilarious because all of our units, even though they have a smaller force, are able to gain the upper hand because of this. And I just find that absolutely amusing. Very, very amusing indeed. Because they are literally shooting themselves in the foot, which is something that Bruce would probably do when I am in control of him, of course. Is there anyone up here still? No, there's no one up here still. Oh, well. That's that's a shame for them, I suppose. Oh, it seems like we are finally being eliminated here. I think that's probably because they spawned behind us and they're flanking us pretty harshly. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that, actually. Should I retreat and come back in? Mm, I, I need to decide quickly. I need to decide quickly, otherwise we should, we should just, you know, take it 
as it comes, I guess, and uh, it seems like we're just going to wait. I'm going to rely on Francisco's surgery skill to carry us through this and hopefully not get too many deaths as a result of my stubbornness to retreat. But that's the thing, I very much want these guys over here to come and help us. I mean, why are they taking so long? Come on, guys. You gotta, you gotta move around there. Oh, yeah, they are getting a little bit stuck. Are you, are you serious? Are they, are they serious with this right now? Because we're so close. Uh, we are so close to victory. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retreat then. And we're gonna see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, look at that. We eliminated 309 of them. Come on, 309. And they just couldn't push forward. Look at that. There's only, what, 58 remaining? Uh, that is, uh, that grinds my gears. Grinds my gears very much. Okay, so that's gonna take 36 hours. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use our agents yet again. All of the vassals are now escaping from the garrison, which is even more irritating. Kubota has also been besieged, so we need to get this done now. We need to get this done, you know? So, oh, seems like Tajiko is not... Uh... Okay, tell Mari you have my support in this. Yeah, because Mari ha actually has a problem with other people as well, so I suppose, you know, it's only natural for me to you know, side with someone else. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that because Mari's probably going to leave relatively soon anyway. I know that the persuasion and leadership levels that I currently have should reduce that, but you never know. Maybe something is going to happen because we're, we're getting companion complaints again now, which is a bit weird, but let's just see what happens, actually. And they've taken Yukate Castle. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that because we're able to take it back very, very quickly, very easily, and I don't really want to get shot instantly here. So let's see if we can avoid the inevitable. Oh, uh, yes, the inevitable. It's probably going to happen. It's probably going to... Yep, yep, look at that. 16 damage, and I was amongst all of my units. And that, that literally just screams to me, oh, you're targeting the, the player character specifically, aren't you? Yes, that's so nice of you, isn't it? Okay, so let's see if we can actually... Yep, there we go. Nice. Take out that guy as well. There we go. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. All right, so how many enemy units are there? There's only... Literally, there's only 14? There is only 40, 13 now. Ah, Yeah, well, that's the thing. I didn't want my units to just run in to all of those archers because they were walking in a single file and all of those archers just focusing them down. I mean, if they hadn't gotten stuck on the bridge, I would have been absolutely fine to allow them to continue charging in. But as it stands, I mean, I just didn't want them to really take any more casualties than we had to. I am getting some really quite nice accuracy going on here as well, which I quite like. Can I actually kill that guy so that no one has to go over there? I would very much appreciate it. Uh, no. Uh, I, I don't know where the arrow's going, so I'm not really... Uh, it's going over. Seems to be going over. Maybe a little bit lower? Wow, are you serious? Is this guy actually ser Okay. That's... <laughs> I'm not doing that. I am so seriously not doing that. You are gonna die, sir. I think he's actually dead now. Is he? Yeah, I think that guy actually did die. He was an archer. And I think he was killed by a Hatamoto, one of our Hatamoto archers. As you can see here, they're having a slight problem once again. Probably because they're trying to shoot at the enemy here. So maybe I should just tell all of my archers to fire at my command. Okay, yeah, fire at my command. So can you can you not use uh, that we weapon usage? Weapon usage, okay. Use melee weapons. Yes, there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, probably should have done that before, but that's the thing. I usually like my archers to have a little bit of an adaptation, you know, so that they can actually adapt to a particular situation however they see fit. Because I found that in Gekakujo, the archers in specific, the... in specifically? Yeah. In particular, uh, in particular, you know, the AI archers are sometimes extremely effective at firing at very, very close range, and I wanted our archers to be able to do the same. But there you go. We have taken it. Only 20 of them? Really? That was a bit weird. Uh, I, I guess it's because the the vassals left, didn't they? Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, well, that's, that's quite annoying, isn't it? Okay, well, yes. As I said, we do have 45,000 in the treasury. That's why I have 6,000 in my inventory now, because I went there and, 
you know, withdrew a little bit. So we're going to be deferring appointment of a lord, and I'm just going to leave that. There we go, and there it is. Okay, so the Nanbu clan has been eliminated, or should be eliminated relatively soon, and Kubota is under siege. So I'm probably going to be rushing over there as quickly as possible. This is the reason why I was a little bit apprehensive about taking Ichinoseki Castle earlier, because this is what's going to happen. The Mogami clan is going to launch retaliations. And they're going to, you know, actually be quite successful because they've already taken Yokote Castle, which is not very nice of them. Not very nice of them at all. So, I guess I'm going to be heading around... Which, which way should I go? I think I'm going to head that way. Hmm. Well, that's the thing. I don't know whether I should really do that because I'm going to be leaving Ichinoseki Castle by itself, which is really quite bad. But even if they take Kubota, it doesn't really matter. I mean, who is actually taking that anyway? Oh. Oh, no. No, thank you very much. Yes, anyway, the point is, is that I think Great Lord Mogami... Oh, wow, there's... Wait a minute. Can I actually take Yamagata Castle without any repercussions? What? There's only 70 here? What? Why? What? 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Well, hello there. Hello to you. I'm going to send in some agents and we're going to be taking Yamagata Castle, apparently. I don't really mind about Kubota being taken because, as I said, we can just really easily take it back with the garrison being low. And no doubt Great Lord Mogami or whoever it is. Yeah, look, I would have actually not even made it there in time. I probably not, I probably wouldn't have. So this is actually really nice because the people of the... Oh, no. Yeah, no. Toshiko is a capable member of this company. Yeah, anyway, the point is... Oh, no. There's Great Lord Mogami himself. I am very not pleased. Yes, very not pleased. Ah, uh, you are a terrible person, Great Lord Mogami. I, I, I am not particularly happy with you right now. No, not at all. Ah, uh, oh well. Never mind. Okay, so we have 55 and 71 is the number that they are f currently fielding. And let's have a look here. So I only have 12 archers. I suppose I should, yeah, I suppose I should make good use of them. And let's tell our infantry to go over here. I think our banner carriers and spearmen are going to have a field day with these cavalry. So I'm not entirely sure why he's deciding to charge those in immediately. I mean, as you can see here, they're just being absolutely slaughtered. There's nothing that they can do, really, against them. And, yeah, that was it. They literally, literally, th that's that's what they decided to do? That's what they decided? Okay, well, th you know what that means. You know what that means? We're just going to charge all the way in here and deal so much, no, and deal so much damage, I was about to say, and then I was going to get hit in the face by a spear. That would have been fantastic, wouldn't it? That has happened, and will happen again, no doubt. Okay, so, yeah, let's just be very, very careful here. Oh, yeah, he's, got, of course, now blocking me. How annoying. Oh, well. We're able to deal a pretty decent amount of damage while we're inside the enemy's lines. And as you can see, they literally are not capable of defending against us because we have actual spearmen now, which is actually really good because beforehand, when I was initially creating our faction, I didn't have any spearmen. And I thought to myself, yeah, that's probably a really bad idea because the spearmen are really, really powerful at times. They're even pretty good in sieges. So, you know, having a couple of, you know... Spearman is usually the way to go. I'm actually thinking I'm going to be, you know, making an army comprised of maybe like 60, 40, 70, 30, maybe something like that. And by that I mean 70% like villager units and peasant units and all that sort of thing. And then 30% samurai units or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure about the ratio just yet, but that will help to reduce costs. That will also help to make it a little bit easier for us to defend against cavalry charges. As you could see, we were able to do that very, very easily because we actually have a couple of spearmen now. You know, so that's actually really good. And otherwise, I'm not entirely sure. Otherwise, I don't know really what we're going to be doing. I think we're probably going to be getting Nanbu clan mounted units. So they're going to be the cavalry in our army because obviously we do own the entirety of the Nanbu clan territory now, so I suppose that makes sense, doesn't it? But other than that, I am unsure. Probably, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the unit trees to see who has elite spearmen, and then I'm gonna go and, oh, the Date! 
The Date have elite spearmen, so that's actually really nice. Because we have a bunch of those. Why am I trying to attack one of my own archers? Fantastic. I'm just getting carried away with talking and, yeah, not really concentrating on what I'm doing. But anyway, the point is, yeah, I'll probably get Date clan elite spearmen. I think we've already gotten some of those, so I suppose that makes sense. And archers? Uh, I don't know what kind of archers I'm going to get, really. I mean, we do have the opportunity to get Date mounted gunners. I don't know how good they are, but they're unique, as far as I'm aware. They're unique, so it would be maybe a you know fun idea to have a couple of those to you know intersperse with the Nanbu clan mounted Hatamoto units. So maybe we're gonna uh, you know gonna go for something like that. And where's the last remaining enemy? Ah, there he is. He's... Oh, wow. It's a gunner all the way in the distance over there. All right. Oh, wow. That was a snipe. Did you see that? That was an absolute snipe from that Hatamoto Archer right there. Very nice. All right. There you go. So there's 12 Renown, and we lost six units. That's absolutely fine. But Great Lord Mogami is going to be eliminated. I am going to just charge my cavalry in because there's only 27 of them, and I'm probably pretty sure that they don't really have you know anything that can kind of defeat us right now i might be able to kill this guy or at least take out his horse and maybe we're able to kill him as well there we go that sounds good to me that sounds very good and yeah it seems yep nope they don't have any spearmen they have they don't have any spearmen no so this is absolutely fine for us to do just to charge straight on in here oh they do have one i think or two it doesn't really matter so much and it seems like the Mogami clan retainers have spears. Well, that's that's interesting. That is interesting. I was not anticipating that. I thought they, well, maybe they have spears and swords, and they can just choose between the two when they spawn into the, the battle. That's probably the case. Let's see if I can eliminate these guys so that we can just cut down the time on this particular battle. I very much find it quite annoying when they decide to, you know, just leave... A little bit of their units at, you know like 27 in this case and we have to fight them I find that quite irritating because it's a foregone conclusion who's going to win obviously ah there we go we could take him prisoner as well thank you very nice okay well I'm gonna be taking a bunch of units prisoner here there we go and ooh, we've got some pretty nice gear too so I'm gonna allow my people just to select whatever they so desire and then I was gonna take some of the things to sell there we are. Very nice. And we can continue with the siege in the next episode. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.